Hey everyone, Eric Voss here in the new Rockstars Blue Dungeon, and here I am going to react to the new amazing WandaVision trailer. This show is going to be the first on Marvel Space Force slate coming January 15th, because this was all coming out super fast on the Disney Investor Day conference. I didn't have time to uh, set up all this good stuff. You get to see my raw reaction to it in the moment at my desk. Then once you're done with that, you're going to come back with me here. We're going to talk about some initial first thoughts we had of this, some things to look forward to in the next couple weeks when this thing finally comes into our lives and then uh later this weekend i will be breaking down this trailer frame by freaking frame to find all the interesting details about wanda and vision that big old yellow rock that's somehow still back in his head anyway uh here check out my reaction so what's a single girl like you doing rattling around this big house well i Ooh. assure you i'm married to a man a human one wanda what's it mean? We are an unusual couple. Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. We just don't know what to expect. Howdy, neighbors. Hey, bud. I think something's wrong here. Wanda, in your room. Who's doing this to you? Are you here to help us? This is our home. Then let's fight for it. All right, uh, WandaVision trailer, woof. Uh, this is a show that is happening. Um, as always with WandaVision, my general excitement for the series is not necessarily the different classic sitcoms they're referencing, but the darkness that lies beneath it, right? What is the deeper, darker conspiracy? Who is doing this to Wanda? Is she doing it to herself? What does it mean? How is it gonna connect to the broader MCU? Sure, I I'm interested to read these articles about how they use Dick Van Dyke's advice and then they used a live audience and they uh, hammed up their performances. Uh, cool, I don't really give a shit. I, I want to know what is going on here. So the second half of the trailer is always more interesting to me. But right away at the top of this trailer, we see these kind of colorful uh, RGB glitches as this screen opens up from this transition to this sitcom house. And we know this is an ersatz reality because initially they don't have wedding rings and then she taps her finger and then both of them do. Um, <laughs> I did a bit better than Vision with the ring I put on my girl but just saying, Vision sucks. So yeah, we're seeing references to uh, classic black and white sitcoms like I Love Lucy, The Dick Van Dyke Show, but we're also seeing um, later decade sitcoms like The Brady Bunch, like Family Ties, maybe Full House, maybe Roseanne. And uh, yeah, there are lots of Easter eggs on all these surfaces. Little, little interesting details that I'm sure I'm gonna find when I go through this frame by frame. That video is gonna be coming later this weekend. But already we're seeing glitches of how this is a false reality. The mobile over the baby's crib comes to life with butterflies and there is this fascinating moment where through this intercom Wanda hears a voice of someone from the outside saying Wanda help let us help you who is doing this to you which is fascinating this means that sword is there to help Wanda they're not there to imprison her or to contain her or try to study her well maybe try to study her but really they're just trying to control the situation Wanda is being manipulated controlled by some darker cosmic force again we don't see Mephisto in the flesh in this but he is suspect number one on my list the Satan from beneath the surface a uh, devil figure that might have shown up in that Loki trailer check out my reaction on that because I think we may have spotted him there. Mephisto in those West Coast Avengers is the demonic entity that is controlling Wanda using illusions of her kids in order to trick her into some coming to his power so that he can steal her chaos energy. And with that are these wonderful moments from Monica Rambeau from Agnes where they look terrified. They're like you put us here help us break free of this 
Let us know what is the dark reason that we're here. Everyone in this looks terrified and I love it. I especially love this neighbor who is just putting up her laundry but looks like she's just being puppeted. I think this is the woman from the Haunting of Hill House, Haunting of Bly Manor, the creepy ghost woman who came out of the lake in the season two. There's people in hazmat suits. This is pure government conspiracy. And I love this idea that after a while, Wanda and Vision don't want this illusion to end. They say, let's fight for this. Isn't that tragic? And beautiful because it's probably a fake trap set up by Mephisto or whoever it is to try to cross over into the world of the living. But this brief transitory moment that Wanda and Vision are allowed to live together again with Vision alive, they're fighting for that dream that probably will end at some point. I'm getting a lot of vibes of uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, of two figures who are projected in a, an illusory reality, but they are running from that erasure and just trying to cling onto each other before the dream ends and they have to wake up to reality. And I think that's the deeper meaning of using the monkey's daydream believer in here. The lyrics, cheer up sleepy Jean, oh what can it mean that to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen. The daydream believer being Vision, who is just a figment of a daydream trying to believe, and the homecoming queen being Wanda. She is the sad romantic who's trying to dream her perfect reality, but it's tragic. She's not going to get it when she wakes up on the other side of it. So yeah, I obviously have a ton of theories about how Wanda Vision is going to set up Marvel Phase 4 and the multiverse, set up things like Spider-Man 3 and Multiverse of Madness. We know Wanda Maximoff is going back in Multiverse of Madness, and we know Monica Rambeau is coming back in uh, Captain Marvel 2. So there's a lot that's being set up here. I'm gonna break this down frame by frame. I'm gonna find the deeper Easter eggs that are being hidden here, trust me. Uh, oh, and yeah, I'm wearing our Mandalorian This Is Away shirt. I'm sorry I'm a little off-brand, but when WandaVision comes out, we're gonna have a limited edition shirt that is going to be specific to WandaVision. It's just gonna be out, and we're only gonna make a certain amount of them. Once we're out, we're out. So check out NewRockStarsMerch.com. We have a ton of great options on there, and yeah, be sure to check out my reaction to the Loki trailer, my reaction of the Falcon Winter Soldier trailer, my reactions of everything coming out from this conference, and all my in-depth Easter egg breakdowns that are going to come out on the channel over the coming days. Subscribe to New Rockstars, hit that notification bell, follow me at EA Voss, follow New Rockstars. See you next time. Bye-bye.